Members of the church need to influence more than we are influenced. We should work to stem the tide of sin and evil instead of passively being swept along by it. We each need to solve the problem rather than avoid or ignore it. I was the young men's president in the ward. I guess that's the reason one of my priests brought his non-member friend to me. He was one of the most interesting young men I ever met. His goal in life seemed to be to satisfy whatever he wanted, whether it was good or bad. He was a good student and an excellent athlete. But his whole life was dedicated to the pursuit of pleasure. Eat, drink, and be merry was a way of life to him. So then he met a girl, a Latter-day Saint. They worked together on the school newspaper. Spiritually, she was everything he was not. She was unlike any girl he'd ever met before. None of his carefully developed skills worked on her. She declined his invitations to go to his parties, and he couldn't win her over with his flattery. One day, he started to tell a suggestive story. The others thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Suddenly, Melissa gave him a look that stopped him cold. She politely told him that those things were offensive. At that moment, I realized she had something I didn't have. I had been trying to take it away from her, but suddenly I didn't want to do that anymore. What Melissa is comes from what she believes about life, about God. Hold it. I don't care about God and all that. I just want to find out what makes her so different. But that's just it, Aaron. It's her belief in God that makes her different. You can't begin to understand Melissa till you understand that. I'd like to explain some of these things to you. Or we have two young missionaries who'd be happy to teach you more. I've never really been big on this uh, religion stuff. I don't know. Look, you don't have to accept anything. I mean, if you really want to understand Melissa, Brother Lloyd's right. You need to find out what she believes. Are you going to ask me to pray and all that stuff? Only if you want to know if it's true. But how can I pray to someone I don't even believe in? Good question. What if, for now, you just conduct an experiment? Just try it. Listen to what we believe. Do some reading. Ask God to help you know if he's even there. And then we'll see where we go from there. If you're really serious about this, isn't it at least worth a try? Look, this is too much. I've done what you said. I've listened. I've been reading the Book of Mormon. I've even prayed. But now what you're asking is too much. I have to quit parting with my friends. Go to church every Sunday. Pay 10% of everything that I make. We're not asking you to do this for us. The Lord is. It's for you. Aaron. You started this whole thing because you found something in Melissa Clark that you liked. You said you wanted that same thing for yourself. That's right, but I didn't ask to have my whole life changed. You can't have it both ways. You can't keep one foot in your old life and then try and start a new one. The Lord will help you and he'll bless you for it. I don't think so. It's too much. Can I ask you a question? I want you to look back on your life before you came to Brother Lloyd's home that night. Look into your heart for a moment. 
how do you really feel down deep about what you were back then? I don't know. I, I guess I'm ashamed. Why? Because I guess I know that God didn't approve of what I was doing. Siren, you're changing. Your heart's changing. Otherwise, you wouldn't be having those feelings. <laughs>